In this video, we are going to discuss uh, about the probability, and our subtopic uh, will be to understand the meaning of the following terms: what is an outcome, what is meant by event, what is sample space, what is meant by mutually exclusive event, what are equally likely events, what is uh, what are basically possible outcomes, what is meant by possible outcomes. Then we have got the concept of favorable outcome, and then we are going to do. a couple of examples now suppose uh, starting from the concept of outcome and an event now suppose you have a jar or a bag in which you have got these balls now you, three are blue and five are red the picking out a blue one is an event while you have got three choices to pick the blue ball as we have three blue balls over here and each choice is an outcome this is first outcome this is second outcome and this is third outcome however picking a blue ball is called an event so going to the definition outcome is basically the result of an experiment and an event is any collection of outcomes and as we have discussed the example over there the next concept is sample space no sample space is basically the collection of all the possible outcomes of a probability experiment is called a sample space now the, in this jar our total outcomes are 8 3 of them are mentioned over here and the rest of the 5 are related to the red balls so the total outcomes out mean if you are going to if you are going to take a ball out of this bag then in total you have got eight possible outcomes or eight possibilities like outcome number 1 will be a blue ball outcome number 2 will also be a blue ball outcome number 3 will also be a blue ball outcome number 4 may be a red ball outcome number 5 may be a red ball in this way in total you have total possible outcomes that are listed in the form of a set now that is called a sample space mean it is a collection of all the possible outcomes in a probability experiment next one is mutually exclusive events now in 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 the above case in the in the diagram we have got uh, a a chance of picking a red one or a blue one it is not possible that both of red or blue can be picked at the same time because we have to choose one of them so choosing any one of them uh, either red or blue is basically mutually exclusive example of mutually exclusive events so the definition says two results are mutually exclusive if they cannot possibly happen at the same time that is picking up a red and a blue ball cannot happen at the same time so that they are mutually exclusive events next one is equally likely events suppose you throw a die so there are equal chances of coming six a die has Uh, six possible outcomes that are from one to six, and each one of the number has got equal chances of coming at the top. Like six in a die has chances one by six, so when there are equal chances of occurrence of an event, then it is called equally likely events. you can take the example of throwing a coin when you throw a coin then there are equal chances of coming head or tail and you may take it as half mean 50% is have the chances of coming head and as well as that will be the case for the tails as well possible outcomes are total outcomes that are possible in a probability experiment for example when a coin is tossed then total outcomes the possible one are two either head will come or tail will come 
Now these outcomes are two in number, so that is basically possible outcomes. The total number of outcomes are basically possible outcomes. The next one is favorable outcome. Definitely, uh, when you we are in doing some probability experiment, we are looking for some outcome that is of our interest. A favorable outcome is the outcome of interest, the outcome which we want. For example, we have discussed the example of this bag in which we have got five red and three blue balls. Now the outcome of interest in this case is blue. I want to have blue ball. So the outcome of my interest is blue. Now we have total three blue balls. So my favorable outcome in this case will be three as we have got three blue balls and I am interested in having a blue ball. So the favorable outcome are three in number while total outcomes are eight in this bag including red and blue. So favorable outcomes are the outcomes of your interest. When example uh, related to favorable outcome is when a die is thrown find the probability of having a 6. Now 6 is my favorable outcome that the outcome that I want. Now here 6 is the favorable outcome out of the total outcomes in case of a die. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Out of these 6 outcomes I want 6. That is my favorable outcome. When discussing one or two examples related to this. So question number one is a die is rolled, write down the sample space and state the total number of possible outcomes. So when a die is rolled, the sample space is the collection of all the possible outcomes which may be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Now these are the possible outcomes and collection of all the possible outcomes will give you the sample space. As you can see from the sample space total number of possible outcomes are 6. If you will count all of them total outcomes are 6 in numbers total possible outcomes are 6. The next example is a spinner is divided into four equal sectors of different colors. Here you can see a spinner in which it is divided into four sectors each having a different color red, green, black, blue. Write on the sample space and state total number of possible outcomes. Now the sample space as discussed is the collection of all the possible outcomes. So these are the possible outcomes you may get a red upon spinning the spinner you may get a green upon spinning the spinner you may get a blue upon spinning the spinner and you may get a black. So total possible outcomes uh, and their collection is basically sample space. However, uh, the, the number of total possible outcomes are 4. This is outcome number 1. This is outcome number 2. This is outcome number 3 and this is outcome number 4. So in this video we have discussed basic terms, concept of basic terms and the definition of basic terms related to the probability. In my next video, I am going to discuss the next concept related to probability. Thank you so much.